Go ahead. All right, All right. Sarah. Yeah. How you been? I've been doing better. Um, I I'm trying to stay off the street and still clean and um, yeah, I'm going to church and um, just staying uh, faithful. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Where'd you go? You said you moved somewhere else to another city. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm in the Tempe area now, and uh, I stay with somebody sometimes and um, I'm trying to get on my feet get an apartment um, I do a part-time customer service job and uh, yeah it's like about nine to two every day and uh, yeah I'm just trying to stay better and positive and into God and yeah that's good yeah so so what happened the last time when we did the interviews did you get positive or negative I mean, I don't know. I don't. Uh, people, Feedback. people really don't. It's hard to believe a lot of the things that I would say because people would think that it wouldn't happen to them. And and uh, you know, it's it's really like uh, crucial that you uh, you know I don't know like stay safe out there because uh, you know things might happen to you. Even though you know people don't believe me, it still happens. So you know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Um, Did you say your family member seen it? Oh yeah, yeah, they did, and I was a little embarrassed, but were they yeah. Pissed? No, they weren't pissed. They were just like, "Oh my gosh, why are you on YouTube?" No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a YouTube yourself? No, you but don't have any no, media? they just seen it uh, just at random, like yeah. Okay. Yeah, but um. So you say you're looking for a new job. Yeah, I'm looking for a better job with like more hours and consistency than what I have because. I'm, you know, still at, uh, this, I, I'm trying to save up for an apartment, you know, because I don't have a stable place, I need to have a stable place to go to work every day, and, yeah, yeah so, um, and eventually my daughter's going to come live with me, and, that's good, yeah, so, yeah, what kind of work experience do you have? Um, I got like about nine years of customer service experience, and, um, I, uh, do landscaping, I do, uh, I do. I worked at Amazon. I worked at Ads Up. I worked at Eaton Marketing. I worked at. Um, I was a front desk receptionist at a, a dog daycare. <laughs> yeah, gotta get the dogs. <laughs> you have a lot of experience, and you're willing to do anything like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Landscaping. Even in the hot yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like landscaping. Yeah, yeah, all day, man. You done it in the summer before? Yeah, That's I mean crazy. it's 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 hard, but you just get Gatorade and yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your body gets used to it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I used to know somebody that did that a lot, and yeah, it, it kind of just inspired me to do it. <laughs> yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. You said you started a GoFundMe? Yeah, I started a GoFundMe. Um, I have. I just started it not too long ago, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, you know, it, it will go somewhere, I guess. And yeah. have you got any donations on there? Um. I don't think I maybe one. I don't think so. I haven't really looked. Yeah, like uh, I haven't. Yeah, I I don't know too much about it, but I know I started it. But yeah, yeah I'm. So that's to try to get an apartment, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah. are you gonna try to get an apartment in Tempe or out um, here in Phoenix? I I in Tempe, like I I I've been trying to work at it, but like yeah, like I just don't have enough hours. But yeah, no, it will happen if God will allow it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Put all your faith in God. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you, how'd you grow up? Did you grow up like really religious or not? Um, I was in programs all my life, like when since I was like ten years old. Uh, I was in Teen Challenge for like six years, and then I was in the Dream Center for five years until I was eighteen. So, um, yeah. Um, did you grow up with your parents, like both parents? Did you have mom and dad? I had my uh, grandma and my mom, and then she left me in Tucson. I came from Pennsylvania, and uh, she left me in Tucson at Teen Challenge when I was like 10. And what is that? What's Teen, Challenge Teen Challenge is like a, it's a youth. Well, there's one in Tucson for youth, and then there's an adult one in Casa Grande. And, um, Do people live there? Yeah, like adults that are like...
her out of here. Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't doing drugs, but she just thought that I, I don't know, needed it because I was, yeah, she. <laughs> How was your childhood? Were you like, um, were you a good kid? Or were you like rebellious? Oh, uh, no, I was just getting bullied a lot in Pennsylvania because I was Mexican. Okay. What's and, your ethnicity? Uh, You're Mexican, Mexican? yeah. Okay. Oh, no, well, yeah, Mexican American. But yeah, in Pennsylvania, they're racist, so. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I got so sent there was no Mexicans in Pennsylvania? Um, no, there or wasn't. Was there no, no, of... there was none except me. <laughs> yeah. what, what, um, was it, was that the city? Pennsylvania? Uh, Erie, the Cory, 30 minutes from Erie. Okay. Yeah. So, how old were you when you were living out there? Um, I was in, I was, that, I think it was till like eight or nine. And then I was, I came from California when I was like three or four. Okay. Yeah. So, you guys are originally from California, then moved to Pennsylvania? She, she was in Texas and Mexico and then. California, yeah, <laughs> all of them. You guys moved all over the place? No, just, she just moved me right out there and then I have a whole, I, yeah, she moved me out there and Who then. Who were you with out there in Pennsylvania? My grandma and my okay. mom, sometimes, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And how was your childhood overall? Like, was it a good childhood or was it, was there any trauma or abuse, anything like that? I mean, I really don't want to get into all that. You don't want to I'm not going to say all that. Okay. No. Nah, that's fine. If you don't want to talk about it, that's cool, man. That's some, like, shit that you might well not want to hear about. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, no. no because, like, people get curious, you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I mean, like, that's rated X, you know? <laughs> you know, like, um... <laughs> um... Yeah, no, I... Did you ever meet your, your dad? I met him once, and then I think he died the next time I met him. Okay. He died of pancreatitis, and then, uh... Yeah. Okay. But, uh, Do you have any siblings? No. You don't have siblings? No. You're an only child? Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, how was school over there in Pennsylvania, though? I just went over the, it was, it was terrible. I was just getting, like, beat up and, well, I was, you know, I mean, I was in kindergarten and I was beating up, we were fighting with high school, I was fighting with high school, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> It was over me being Mexican, <laughs> my color or something. I had complexion, they're all bino, but yeah, I don't want to. I mean, they're, you know, they're, God bless them. I don't know what to say. They're just, you know, I forgive them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to cry about it, but yeah. So, what's the time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like to get much into your what? childhood, huh? My childhood? I mean, it's uh, my childhood. I don't know. I had a childhood. What's a childhood? A childhood? Like, what does that mean? I'm not gonna down my mom or anything. Like, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. She, uh, she, she just doesn't. She just has something. She, ha she had that uh, Munchausen disease or something. You know, where you make your child sick <laughs> for attention or something. Yeah. So, uh, Did you feel neglected growing up? Um. Well, yeah. That's one of the things I guess that people feel. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you what happened to you on your forehead right here? I flew through the windshield when I was fifteen. Um, you uh, got a car accident? Yeah. Were you driving or what? No, somebody else was driving way older than me, and I just hit the windshield we were going 80 and they were going like 100 under the freeway on 20th street at indian school and i was just pouring blood and everything and um yeah i had like 80 stitches in my head did you lose consciousness or not? no no but i was i seemed like an angel or something did and you? she was trying to take me yeah or something appeared right there and you know they were he, she was like oh i'm a nurse i could take you home or something like that and i was like oh like but i didn't go i was like no and I took off running and everything, <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah, it was just all bad. How but, did you know it was an angel? Did it I mean, you? no, recently, like, I just realized that it might have been an angel because, like, um, I don't understand why would that lady want to take me home and why was she standing there like that? It just yeah. didn't make sense. Did anybody else see it? No, nobody was around, like, the 
truck was in the middle of the street. Like, I couldn't get out of the damn thing for a minute. And then when I got out, I tried to run. And then I, this, that's when I seen that. And I, the, how much of blood I was losing, it was pretty, and it was just because the way that it hit me, I didn't break the windshield. Like, it just, well, I, I didn't go through it, I mean. You know what I mean? I, I broke it, but I didn't go through it. And it was just like, the impact that was on my head, I just couldn't believe that how much I survived through that. Like, I just couldn't believe that. It was weird. It was just crazy, you know? What, else, God. what else happened to you? Was it just on your forehead? Um, yeah, it was just my head was majorly... Yeah, yeah, they ripped up all my clothes and then... Was it, like, cracked? Your, your skull, was it cracked? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it goes all... It was all the way up to right here. It took my forehead off, like, almost. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could see the scars right here, like, really yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hey man, thank you for this. Well, thank you, and I appreciate okay. um I appreciate your time, and if you want to uh, donate to my page, I greatly appreciate it, and um, I just thank you for being um, as um, empathetic as you guys are. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. All right. Well, thank you for the update. Are you okay if I post it up on my YouTube channel? Um. Sure. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. <laughs>